In this version of my meatloaf, I'm using beets for its color and its natural root or tail to fashion this creepy beet rat for Halloween. Halloween. <laughs> Welcome back to Craving Suit Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. As you must know, Halloween is one of my favorite times of the year. I love to make these spooky recipes that are super delicious. Today is no different. We're going to be making a beet rat. What is a beet rat? I hear you saying. It's basically meatloaf that's shaped into a rat shape, but it also contains beetroot. So when you cut into it, it has that wonderful eerie look on the inside. Before I go any further with this recipe, to make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get cooking. I've cooked my beets and I've grated this. This is roughly a cup. I've also saved the root. Notice that I cut a rectangular portion so it should be easy to hold within the meat loaf later. I have two pounds of ground meat here you can use beef, lamb, or even chicken if you prefer. I'm going to add one cup of diced onion, two tablespoons of minced green chili, and I'm gonna crack in one whole egg so it holds the mixture together. Now I'm going to add salt to taste, one teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin powder, and half a teaspoon of turmeric. I'm also going to add in the grated beets. I'm scared to death. Mix this well together. You will see that the beets give a nice color, but they also look a little bit like blood veins. We're going for a maximum creep factor here. I'm using an old griddle pan to cook this, mainly because I don't want to move it after it's been cooked and I can serve it right off the griddle. But feel free to use any oven-proof dish of your choice. I'm going to brush the base with oil. I'm going to put down a base with a well in the center. And I'm going to add the tail. Three boiled eggs will fit comfortably in my well, so I will add them back to back. Now to cover the top and really pack it in. maximum creep factor I bought some chicken feet and I will be adding these to the base of the body. For years I've cut up some slices of beef salami and I will insert these in. I'm scared to death of one thing. I'm going to make two holes for the eyes and I'm going to insert two pickled onions I added a toothpick to each one so it's secure. I'm going to take some of the meat mixture and I'm going to fasten it around the tail. 
it would be a good idea to cover the tail and the ears with foil as it can burn. I'm scared to death of one thing. Excellent, excellent. For whiskers, I'm just going to add some uncooked spaghetti. I'm also going to add some almond slivers for teeth. Ooh, scary. For a bit of texture, I'm sprinkling about a tablespoon or so of black sesame seeds over the top. And into the oven this goes. This should take about 1 hour and 15 minutes to cook. If not using eggs in the center, it could take a bit longer to cook to the core. In between the cook time, you can clean up the edges with a knife. I also like to brush the surface with about 2 tablespoons of ketchup. When this is ready, this beet rat looks scary. Slice it up and serve. If you want to use this recipe just to make regular meatloaf, this is pretty stunning as well. Enjoy! Excellent, excellent! Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings for Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe for beet rat. It's literally meatloaf that has been enhanced with beetroot and it's super, super delicious. If you love all of my videos, do give me a thumbs up, share it with your family and friends, and don't forget to leave me a comment so I know what you think about these videos. Also, be sure to follow me behind the scenes on all of my social channels. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Until I see you next time, do take care. Happy eating.